This is you have to win the game, which is a um, a retro style platformer. Um, two levels of difficulty. I'm going to stick with the easy level difficulty. Three modes, and no, no, I'm going to stick with the one that gives you infinite chances, basically. So uh, it's pretending to be a 8-bit um, PC game, uh, four colours, with with dithering and all that sort of thing. Here I am, I'm a little character, I use my arrow keys, I can jump. Little bells, they're restore points. When you die, you go back to the restore point. That was the tutorial. There's not a lot you need to know. These these uh, double lines with the dotted things are uh, are ladders. I guess that's what we call them anyway. Uh, the walls you can run and jump on. These blocks, I assume you need a key or some item to activate the blocks. I've not discovered it yet. Uh, dangerous things over here. All right then. So I want to get that money bag. I assume it's a money bag. And I'm going to die and respawn. But it doesn't matter because I collected the uh, I collected the money. So I've completed now three percent of the adventure. Woohoo! Oops, I died. Yeah, I'm not good at this game, to be fair. Oh, let's go down this way, because that's the way on, I think. Yeah, there we go. That's better. No point in going back and dying over there when there's nothing much interest to do. Alright, so, let's go over here and we can demonstrate some of my um, bad platform skills. A lot of the, a lot of the early platforms rely on you... Um, Working out where where to jump from off screen to get to get into a platform. Ugh! I'm gonna have one more go at this. I've been trying all evening to get this particular jump. I'm fairly sure you can do it. It's so close, so close. One more, one more go. Just skip ahead. No, nope. all right. Leaving it. Moving on. Um, let's set the save point over there. The water will kill you. I'm assuming what is the magic symbol is a clue of some kind. Uh, uncertain semiotics. It's uh, a uh, corny name for that, for that level. Now there's a really annoying screen over here. We have to time it very, very well. See what I mean? Let's have one more go. No, that's not the timing. That's not the timing. No, that definitely wasn't the timing. Let us go this way instead and have a look. Oh, nothing I can handle over there either. Let's go back the other way and see what I can do over here. Um, so I'm assuming it's not really a very long game. It's just, I'm at 9% completion and obviously I've really done nothing so far. Ugh. Nothing I can do over there either, because I can't, I can't get nice platforms. Let's carry on. Let's go the other way on the which path shall I take screen. There's more stuff I can deal with over here. Now, oh, there we go. Looking good. What is the magic word? I'm assuming again. 
It's being called Arcane Vocabulary, and the clue is what is the magic word. There's probably plenty of stuff I'm missing on this game. I will probably at some point have a Google and uh, get people who are good at games to tell me how I'm supposed to do it. I have quite enjoyed it anyway, and, uh, you know. But, you know, earlier this week I was playing Iridium on my um, Commodore 64 joystick, so I'm just into that sort of thing. If you, if you can't get past the graphics, then probably, you know, obviously you're not going to enjoy it. Um, but I'm sort of used to, uh, you know, I grew up with games that looked look quite like this. Oh, this is a fun one. So we're going to collapse the collapse that. There we go. We're going to wait for that. Ugh, we're not going to fall off the front of the thing. We're not going to miss the thing. Third time lucky. Yay! All right, snakes. There we go. Dealt with snakes. Snakes and bats now. Ah, well. Back here. We're back here. Ugh, and I've still got bad, terrible, terrible timing. There we go. We're out. Let's go and look at what's up here. Lots of nasty spikes again with the dotted blocks. I really would like to know how you're supposed to deal with them. Let's carry on over here. I think I've been here already, haven't I? Yes, possibly. Oh dear. Now, I don't think I can make that jump without having the blocks. You can very nearly make it. Ugh. Which, if you, if you did a lot of 8-bit platforming... If you did a lot of 8-bit platforming, that was sort of one of the hallmarks of people that had really carefully worked out their games. If you get it exactly on the right pixel, then you got the jump. That's a fun one. Oh, this is a nasty one. Oh dear. Oh. Yeah, I can make that one. Ah! Oh dear. Third time lucky. Hey, right. So, you've got a fairly good flavour of the game now. I'm at 23% uh, complete, so you can probably, you know, if you knew what you were doing and you were good at these sort of things, you would probably be able to complete this, this whole game within an hour. Um, but since the cost of the game is zero pounds and zero pence, I would say that's still excellent value for money if you're uh, hankering after some retro platforming action. Uh, check out this game.